Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. Yeah, yeah. What's happening guys? My name is Alex and welcome to a brand new Sony Vegas tutorial. And in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to make the Star Wars logo intro. The intro that we are all familiar with. It's going to be really easy. So make sure to smash the like button down already. And I would say let's get started. Okay guys, so now that we're in Sony Vegas, uh, there are a few things you need in order to do this. So the first thing is the Star Wars logo. So you can just also, you can just you know get this from Google. I'm going to drag in the logo. We're gonna make this logo to zoom, of course. So basically, we're gonna start off with the first thing, which is the zooming. So first of all, guys, what you want to do is, as you guys can see, the logo starts usually like a little bit out of the screen, and then it goes back to like small. So I'm going to click on this small icon, which says Event Pan Crop. Then this box pops up. And what you want to do is you want to like do the motion right here. Okay guys, so first thing first, you want to make this logo also a little bit bigger. So I would say like this would be good, like that. And then you want to just make sure to like place it on a keyframe, boom. Then you just want to, I would say click restore. So that's actually like pretty, um, pretty like norm the normal size, but then it's going to like zoom out even more, a little bit faster. So I'm just going to place a keyframe right there. And I'm going to make the logo, I would say, go right there and then we have like the text scrolling from the from the bottom to the top so let's see what the logo looks like first for the intro as you guys can see the logo starts zooming out as you can see and then it's, it's going to a little bit too fast i'm going to back to event pan crop and i'm going to place this keyframe at the bottom this one a little bit further from uh the other keyframe so let's let's see what it looks like with the keyframes uh everything in total so as you guys can see you really like slowing down and then it's also going, also going to uh, zoom out a little bit further. So I'm going to put the keyframe a little bit to the right because as you guys can see, it is zooming out and then also right there. So then you want to like make the scrolling text underneath it. So that's it for this logo, guys. As you guys can see, it's really awesome. You just want to uh, make the zooming effect. And then I would say, let's move on to the actual text uh, part. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to insert a, uh, a regular text. As you can see, we're going to go to the media generators. When you click on titles and text, boom we want to drag that on top of the timeline and here you want to insert the text that is scrolling from the sc on the screen so i just copy that from google so i just like want to type in all the text that is saying right there as you guys can see i'll make it a little bit bigger this is the entire text uh that's going that's that you can that you that will be seen uh during uh the scroll part as you guys can see so first of all i'm going to make this all a little bit smaller though it's a, it's a little bit big so let's say i'm going to make 12. that also looks look, looks very good and then we're going to make sure that everything is like the same as the intro like in terms of like splitting like the lines like that as you can see so let me do that real quick until the text is like exactly the same intro a few moments later okay guys so i just got done like like syncing the text of course so this is the text that is going to scroll uh, like as you guys can see across the screen power isn't like that good the color is like it's like going to be like yellow uh, so I'm going to zoom in on this and I'm going to make the color um, let's see what color it should be it's like like kind of yellow orange ish so I would say like this is coming close I would say this looks very good guys so now I'm going to also I'm going to put this text to the font uh, that is supposed like that's supposed to be so I'm going to like you know make this text like into the original Star Wars font. Two hours later. Boom, as you guys can see, SF Distant is the font. And I think the sentences are a little bit close to each other. So I'm going to put a space between each uh, sentence. Let's see if that works. Okay guys, so that took actually very long, but as you guys can see, well, we have the text just appearing in the screen. So we're gonna make this um, animate. So what we're going to do is first of all, we're going to um, place this guy, click on this light, little icon, and you wanna, you wanna place this on 3D source alpha. Then you want to click on the track motion icon, and then you will see those three boxes, and underneath, you want to like change as you guys can see it's that awesome you can change like the text like how it is in the actual intro as you guys can see so you just want to place it i would say this looks very very legit actually guys like as you guys can see it's it like it's just you know it, it just it is just appearing as you guys can see uh so what you can do is i would say this looks actually pretty nice so to make it scroll um, i would say to go to this little icon event pan crop of course then you want to make sure that you put the text out of the screen first like this, boom, like that. 
Then you want to just place a keyframe, I would say to right there. Then you just want to click on restore and eventually uh, place this down. So it will, the motion will be from uh, going to top to the bottom. I'm just going to show you guys how it looks. So as you guys can see right there, we have the Star Wars logo. And as soon as the text like is coming to scroll in, as you guys can see, but it's not coming like completely from uh, the bottom. So what you want to do is you want to click on this track motion icon and you want to make this a uh, little bit bigger, as you guys can see, until it touches the edge. Boom. And as you guys can see, if you if you want to play it back, this is what we have already so far. Of course, there's no music underneath because I might be copyright. But as you guys can see, the text just starts appearing there. And there we have our freaking... Uh, how you call it? That's our freaking, as you guys can see, that's our, that's our Star Wars intro, guys. It is that awesome. It's just going to con you know, like continue scrolling. Is that awesome? That's how you make a Star Wars intro, guys. It is really simple, as you guys can see. Just make sure the text is like tilt, like I would say like forced a little bit. Then you want to make it appear and scroll into the screen. And I would say you are good to go, guys. And I mean, for a background, you can use like a star background. So I'm going to drag that like in real quick. As you can see, it's like little particles. Uh, sky thing so as you guys can see this looks freaking amazing guys I just like just like some stars as you guys can see uh, if it only the, the picture only looks like this just for, like from Google then we have our intro so this is Star Wars logo of course zooming out and then we have our text scrolling right there and it is that simple guys so that's how you make a Star Wars intro of course you can put the music underneath it itself but I'm not going to show you guys play back the music that may be copyrighted I'm just going to show you guys how to make the physics like the intro that you see on screen this is how you do it this is how you zoom it might not be perfect I know guys but this is just showing you how to do it like how to make this like, as you guys can see how to make the like the logo zoom out and then make the scroll make the text like tilt towards like forward and then make it scroll and it's that simple guys that's how you make a Star Wars intro is that, is that awesome so that's it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos and also the subscribe button so thank you for watching and i will see you guys uh, tomorrow for a new top five ncs songs you guys probably will know uh, that those songs are mostly like, upcoming on thursday so uh thanks again for liking and coming on this video i hope to see you guys tomorrow so i'll catch you guys tomorrow just alex helford yeah,